Kenyan commuters who rely on public service vehicles, PSV, commonly known as Matatus, will face increased transportation costs starting from Wednesday, July 5, 2023. The fare hike comes as a direct result of the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority EPRA, decision to raise fuel prices on Friday, June 30. Matatu Owners Association Chairman, Albert Karakacha, explained that the tariff adjustment was necessary to protect the interests of their members who have made significant investments in the sector. This move follows the recent doubling of the value-added tax, VAT, from 8% to 16% in President William Ruto Kenya Kwanzaa Finance Act, which has added to the economic strain faced by Matatu owners. In an official statement, the Matatu Owners Association highlighted the reasons behind the fare increase. They cited the substantial rise in fuel costs, coupled with other operational expenses such as increased spare parts costs and loan interest rates. These factors compel them to re-evaluate their pricing structure to ensure the continued viability of their services. The association announced specific fare adjustments for different regions, a 10 to 30 shillings increase in Nairobi, 10 to 50 shillings in major cities, 30 to 70 shillings in coastal regions, and 20 shillings increase for services in Nyanza and Rift Valley towns. Unfortunately, the timing of this fair hike coincides with challenging economic conditions, exacerbating the burdens faced by Kenyan citizens. As they continue to endure the impacts of these tough times, the increased transportation costs will further strain their already limited financial resources. Despite a High Court ruling by Justice Magure Fande that temporarily suspended the implementation of the Finance Act, 2023, EPRA proceeded to publish new fuel prices on Friday, July 30, 2023. Consequently, Many consumers are frustrated as numerous petrol stations have raised fuel prices, disregarding the court order. In light of these circumstances, the Matatu Owners Association is appealing to the public for patience as they explore alternative solutions to mitigate the need for additional fare hikes. They are also urging the government to subsidize fuel services for PSV operators, with the aim of alleviating the financial burden on both Matatu owners and passengers. The association believes that government intervention in the form of subsidies can help ease the strain on the transportation sector. To get more news leave a like and comment below this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to the Kenyan News Channel.